Hello, welcome to the Three Amigos channel. Uh, I'm Jade and I shoot a film. So this is basically my one and only camera and it's the Nikon FE2 and it's a film camera that I got I think from four years ago. I think what's really best about it is that it just captures the moment and to be honest before getting into um, before this camera I wasn't like a big fan of photography because I always felt that when people are doing photos um, they get so focused on their photos whether they look nice whether what they're shooting looks nice and it kind of takes the experience or that moment from them but um, I realize like sometimes when you look at um, certain film photos and it's just like a snapshot on that of that very moment and that's what I want to do with film because there's no basically there's very there's no tech to you you click the shutter and that's the moment you capture and you can't see what you're taking so as like a perfectionist or OC person like myself I wouldn't be checking out the photo and then doing like a thousand more until I get the satisfactory one or until I get so frustrated I don't want to take photos anymore so um, it's quite interesting it's like after when you take a photo and you see, it, see get the films printed out like a few months later because I'm a very lazy person and sometimes it's just like sometimes the photos are blurred sometimes they, you don't know what you're really taking but that's also the fun of it and you realize sometimes you just don't have to take the perfect photo but that moment actually speaks for itself I don't think I really have a photography style because I just like to take photos that I just want to capture the moment so I don't think that much about the composition or lightnings or I just like to take moments that re like take photos that really represent a moment which I will remember after it's maybe it's like a half eaten picnic and maybe it's just people doing what they were doing what they are enjoying and it's like very awkward moments sometimes so and I do like taking pictures of the animals too and like dogs and cats because they are just beautiful and their eyes speak and when I go travel I think I tend to I like photos of the nature so it's like just the trees with the light shine like the sun rays shining through and you see the greens of the leaves and the shadows and like I like that and I also like the pattern on the tree logs and the little flowers that you see just in the field. Okay. Okay, so we spent two weeks in Patagonia spanning from Chile to Argentina. Oh you have to check out our video. That's what um the amigo said. Uh, remember to check it out, click and like and subscribe. <laughs> So during the trip, it was really nice. It was a lot of photo it was a lot of nature, and we were so lucky that when we went out, the sun, the weather was just really good. Like um, Patagonian weather is well known for its un unpredictability of the weather, but we were very lucky that I think we had like most of our trip, um, the weather was just perfect, and we were able to take um, really nice photos, and we were able to see beautiful sceneries. And the films we mainly used were my favorite, um, Cold Echo 200. And thanks to um, Junior, the Amigos kind sponsorship, we've also got a lot of E100. So um, they were very nice and you can check it out later. was taken on our way to Mountain Fitzroy which is the inspiration for the Patagonia logo and we were just so amazed when we first saw it because it was beautiful and we were so lucky the sky was so blue and I love how the sticks were supposed to be there to blocking the gonacles from hopping the road and like causing traffic accidents but I think it's just very beautiful it's like a pathway guiding you to the mountains and yeah this is another picture of Mountain Fitzroy when this 
sun is just hitting on it in the early morning. Oh, and we took this photo again of Mountain Fitzroy when we were leaving from the very famous hike. And you can see the sunset and the colors are just so beautiful. And you can just um, fakely see the lights of the town, which I also think is a very nice compliment to the um, contours of the mountains. And yeah, and Stan kept saying that I wouldn't be able to capture the moon with my film, which I did perfectly in this photo. <laughs> Argentina side where we went to the Porto Marino glaciers and it was so amazing as you were there you can hear the ice the glaciers just fracturing and breaking and like vroom. but we never we were never able to capture that moment the film well that's a pity of film I guess you really really have to be very patient to do something like that ocean and you can see how big the glaciers are because like those tiny dots are actually um, us or our fellow tourists who are um, walking through the glaciers. You, when we were inside the um, glaciers, we thought it was already like very majestic, it was huge and we have never seen glaciers like that. And when we came up to see the glaciers from the other side, it was even like more vast than you could have imagined and that's how it just goes without an end. The winery distillery where we went to and where we got the Argentina gin. It's beautiful with the Patag oh I can't okay it's beautiful with the Patagonia mountains um, drawing on it and yeah nice gin and yeah these are the I think these are the photos that really represent like the moment where you are just happy and enjoying it and I'm not sure if Stan was sneezing or laughing but that's the moment right and yeah <laughs> And this photo was like super cute because um, I was seeing Stan fidgeting for around 30 minutes just struggling where to put the gimbal so we could take a nice time lapse and it was just so funny we were doing these little rocks around the gimbal to steady it and I think that background of the granite mountain and the snow was very nice as well. And I will stop bombarding you with my photos. I hope you enjoyed the video and um, if you would like to show us some support, we'll be really grateful if you can click um, like and just follow us and subscribe to the channel, it would mean a lot to us. The Antique Gas Queen. So, um, if that's a difficult question. I guess I just really like to feel that I'm in the moment and instead of focusing on like um, techniques or what cameras or like the hardware that I'm using so and I'm like I don't think I yeah I think maybe that's why so I just don't feel that into like the cameras or like the specific what is it called specs and stuff like that <laughs>